Hi everyone and welcome to a short presentation about my work related to rechargeable magnesium battery cathodes based on fluorine-free vaccines. In order to meet the future battery demand, we might need to look beyond lithium-ion batteries. One of the most promising alternatives are rechargeable magnesium batteries, which allow for the use of magne magnesium metal anodes with a reasonably low reduction potential and a very high theoretical capacity. This may allow for comparable energy densities to today's lithium-ion batteries. Since magnesium also is among the top 10 most abundant elements, a magnesium battery chemistry could potentially result in cheaper batteries as well. However, to date there are no competitive cathode materials that allow for reversible reactions with magnesium ions. Therefore, I have been working with a family of two-dimensional materials known as maxines, as a possible way to integrate magnesium ions in between the two-dimensional flakes. Unfortunately, we have been unable to measure any intercalation of magnesium ions. This is demonstrated by the low capacity uh, obtained upon cycling. In comparison, you see a much higher capacity for hybrid cells where we introduced lithium ions to the electrolyte, indicating that lithium ions easily intercalate in the same setup. To explain these results, we calculated the migration barriers and intercalation energies of lithium and magnesium ions in between various maxine compositions. The green area here illustrates ideal values with relatively low migration barriers and sufficiently high voltages for a practical cathode material. Here we see that lithium ion intercalation, shown in purple, shows much better performance than magnesium intercalation for most maxine compositions. We also see a great difference in properties for different chemical compositions. Uh, as shown here, um, the most viable composition for magnesium intercalation is oxygen terminated vanadium maxine. To test if we could change the maxine terminations, we decided to look into hydrolysation with the proposed reaction given here. This figure shows the calculated values for delta G for different ratios between water and HF gas as a function of temperature. It illustrates how the re reaction should be thermodynamically favorable at high enough temperatures and high enough gas ratios. Unfortunately, my experimental results have not been very promising as the XOD diffractogram indicates. We see a clear reduction of the 002 peak of the maxine after hydrolysation at 400 degrees Celsius. It seems as if the maxine decomposes under such elevated temperatures, making hydrolysation an unfeasible method for changing the termination groups. So even though magnesium intercalation in maxines still might be possible, these results demonstrate some of the difficulty in achieving it. With that, I would like to thank you all for listening. And I would also like to thank all these people here for making my work possible. Thank you.